from friends today we will uh, learn about the Plaxis 3D a small project uh, I will teach a small project in Plaxis 3D so in tutorial manual of Plaxis 3D so they divided uh, the first case that a foundation on uh, soil or uh, over consolidated clay they divided these this project into three cases case A case B and case C so I further divided the case A into uh, different parts today we will learn about the soil and borehole uh, that how the soil is assigned to the project and the borehole uh, how we select the borehole for a project and assign to the project so we'll take start from start a new project so we will enter is tute one foundation on OCC soil we'll click next now we will enter the model properties so here our length will be in meter our force will be in kilonewton and our time will be in day and uh, the unit weight of water and earth gravity gravitational acceleration is by default selected now we'll enter the contour that how our boundary condition will be so I'll enter here is minus 75 in negative x direction and 75 in positive x direction minus 75 in negative y direction and 75 meter in positive y direction after that we'll click ok so our boundary condition is met now uh, for uh, for starting a project first we entered the bore uh, the boundary condition and uh, our we decided our units that in which unit we will uh, continue through till the end so now first part of the project will be the soil to define a soil stratogra uh, stratigraphy and uh, soil for the project so we will first create a borehole so we will click here as borehole and we will select borehole that at which location our borehole will be now at zero zero location and uh, our head will be minus two meter means water level and uh, we'll add layer these are the layers that how many layers do we have in this project so we have uh, one layer as it is a tutorial so we have one layer which is top is at zero uh, z direction and bottom uh, is minus 40 so this is minus 40 the bottom of the borehole okay so our borehole is cr created and uh, you can see the uh, uh, pore water pressure division throughout the borehole and the water table is at minus two meter now after that we will assign a material to the borehole that which type of soil we have so we will click on the material tab we will define soil and interfaces and we will click on new so after that we will enter the name of the soil lacustrine clay the clay is from lake the deposit in lake is called lacustrine clay we will uh, uh, select the material model so here our material model will be mohor coulomb so for different soils the model will be different uh, and it is given in the plaxis 3d reference manual and the uh, appendices are given there that for which soil the f uh, model will be selected material model so for lacustrine clay mohor coulomb is the best suitable model our drainage type will be drained and from this uh, we will we can or we uh, can select uh, our color that which color we want to give to our soil so for example i selected the green color it depends on you now general properties we will enter the gamma unsaturated unit weight of uh, soil above the water level and unit weight of soil below the water level so unit weight of soil above the water level uh, gamma unsaturated it is uh, 17 and uh, it is 18 uh, unit weight below the water level now these are the advanced option so we will not uh, mm, 
uh, play with this because these are the advanced option and um, we just will be just stuck to the general properties uh, how in, uh, that is given in the tutorial manual now parameters these are the parameters stiffness parameter alternative strength parameters so we will need but we will need these two and these uh, three properties three properties of uh, strength and uh, two properties of stiffness and these alternatives are selected uh, by default when we enter the um, stiffness parameter that is e e means modulus of elasticity for example i enter here is 1 10 raised to power sorry 10 raised to power uh, 10 e4 okay so our modulus of elasticity is defined now poisson's ratio 0 0.3 as given in tutorial manual so these alternatives are all uh, by default uh, selected uh, through a correlation between these stiffness parameters so the g and e odometer have a correlation with uh, modulus of elasticity and poisson ratio so these are cal calculated uh, by the plaxis 3d software now of strength parameter we have to enter the strength parameter which is angle of cohesion that is 30 degree sorry no 10 degree as given in uh, tutorial manual uh, in the end of in angle of internal friction is 30 degree and dilatancy angle is zero dilatancy angle is basically uh, a soil when subjected to the shear stresses uh, the change in volume of soil Mm, when it is subjected to the shear stresses so it is zero for like a strain clay and these velocity are selected by default and these are the advanced option uh, the stiffness parameter if stiffness increases with the depth of soil so we will enter uh, the incre increment and from where it start increase we will enter the z reference so uh, we are not uh, talking about the advanced option now so this will not now these are ground and uh, water and this is selected by default by the software now interfaces these are uh, another uh, topic we will further study in uh, our coming tutorials these are the initial cannot determination means the lateral earth pressure or lateral pressures uh, on the building so it is by default selected as 0 0.5 now our properties are assigned to the material okay our material is created so okay now we'll assign material to the borehole which is like a strain as we are created we have created uh, the so our soil is assigned to the borehole and now uh, okay uh, one uh, thing is more here mm, i wanted to explain and that is boreholes if you want to uh, add other boreholes uh, if you have uh, a project or commercial project or a real life project in which we um, uh, investigate the soil by creating or by performing different boreholes so you can enter different boreholes by this now we will click ok yes this is our soil and it is assigned to the boundary and the, uh, to the project so ok now uh, this is the end of this tutorial thank you very much for listening